Do you know the difference between carousel and carousal? Between tack and tact? How about the words flout and flaunt? Do you know how to pronounce the word that's spelled H-Y-P-E-R-B-O-L-E? -E? Do you know the right way to use the expression rest assured? All this and more coming up. But first, do subscribe to The English Nut. If you already have, thank you. Do you ever say be rest assured? Well, you shouldn't. The correct form of this expression is just rest assured. It contains the verb rest and you don't need to add the verb be to it. Here's a sentence showing the proper use of the phrase. Rest assured that the electrician will arrive in 30 minutes. It's a way of telling someone that he or she need not worry because what they desire is going to take place. Here are two more sentences with rest assured in them. Rest assured that we'll fix your laptop and restore your data. Rest assured that we'll track down the kidnapper and bring your son back to you. Do you pronounce carousel as carousal? The former ends in S-E-L and the latter in S-A-L. The two words have vastly different meanings. C-A-R-O-U-S-E-L pronounced carousel is the word that's more commonly used today. Traditionally, it referred to a merry-go-round at a fair, but these days it's mostly used in the context of social media sites, where you find image carousels, slideshows of images or text. You click a button to move backward or forward in the slideshow. This use of the word is probably inspired by the rotary tray of old-fashioned slide projectors. You used it to project a series of slide photographs onto a screen. Another type of carousel is found at airports, a luggage carousel, the conveyor belt that brings you your luggage. Carousal, spelled C-A-R-O-U-S-A-L, refers to something else altogether. It means a wild, drunken party. The noun carousal comes from the verb carouse, which means to drink alcohol and enjoy oneself in a lively, noisy sort of way. Here's how you'd use it in a sentence. Sunil's Saturday night carousals usually ended at dawn. As you can see, it's crucial that you don't confuse carousel with carousal. Flout and flaunt. I often find these two words being mixed up. Their spellings are similar with F, L, U and T in common. But the meaning and pronunciation are different. F, L, O, U, T, flout rhymes with out and spout. To flout means to openly disregard a rule, law or custom. Here's how you could use it in a sentence. Some companies flout child labor laws and employ young children. One more example. The orchestra decided to flout tradition and wear casual clothes for the concert. F-L-A-U-N-T, flaunt, rhymes with taunt and daunt. To flaunt means to show off, to display something ostentatiously, to make obvious something you're proud of, because you seek admiration for it. Here are some sentences containing the word. She decided to flaunt her diamond necklace at her daughter's wedding. The actor flaunted his wealth by arriving in his private jet. He wore a tank top to flaunt his biceps. This word is not pronounced hyperbole, but hyperbole. It's a figure of speech in which an obvious exaggeration is used to make a point. It's not to be taken literally. I could say my aunt has cooked enough to feed an army. This means that my aunt has cooked a lot of food, but not really enough food to feed an army. You could say my dad will kill me when he sees this mess. It's unlikely that your dad will really kill you. It just means that he'll be extremely angry with you. While lugging your suitcase to the airport, you might say my suitcase weighs a ton. Now you know that it doesn't really weigh a ton. If it did, you'd have to pay a fortune in excess baggage charges. You're just exaggerating to make the point that it's very heavy. Someone told me that the English Nuts videos are the best in the world. The person meant that my videos are excellent. Not literally the best in the world. Or maybe they did. Just kidding. T-A-C-T -T, tact means skill and sensitivity in dealing with people or handling difficult issues. It's the ability to do or say things without upsetting other people. You could say, my teacher pointed out my mistakes with such tact that I didn't feel bad. Or, the salesperson used such tact with the disgruntled customer that she calmed down immediately. Or, the doctor informed the patient about the diagnosis with great tact. 
T-A-C-K, tack, has nothing to do with tact. Tack is a sailing term. It means to change course by abruptly turning a boat. In life, when one approach fails and you want to try a different one, you can use the term figuratively and say you're going to take a different tack. But people often mix up the two words and end up saying they're going to take a different tact. Let me tell you with the utmost tact that this is incorrect. That brings us to the end of this video. In case you made any of these mistakes before, now you'll be able to avoid them. I'm Dinglishnat. Bye for now.